Yeah. He is, yeah. He's the coach's son. Oh, hit him. Hit him. Then on first and second. Eight coming in to run. Jonah Francis coming in to run. Okay. Yeah, it's weird how they can do that in high school baseball. <laughs> you know. They do it all the time. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're here at Greenup County High School on My Town TV. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, Jeff's done a tremendous job getting us up and running here. Uh, from Greenup County. We're just underway. Ashland has their first two hitters on. Dr Drew Kelly puts down a bunt, and Cohen Underwood fields it and pitches it on to first base for the first out of the inning. So Kelly sacrifices himself in the number three spot there, going one to three, moving the runners up to second and third base. Brady Marucci's on second base. Sam Lyons is on third base. Actually, not Brady Marucci. It was Brady Marucci's spot in the order. He's being... Courtesy ran for by Jonah Francis. So cleanup hitter Parker Church stands in for the Tomcats. Here in the top half of the first from Greenup County. Beautiful night for baseball. Nice stop by Bradley Atkins. The catcher for the Musketeers. Ball one. One ball, no strikes. We're just underway here from Lloyd as the Tomcats have two runners in scoring position with only one out here in the top half of the first. Cohen Underwood from the stretch delivers the pitch. It's just high. Two balls and no strikes. Parker Church standing in, batting 235 so far on the year. He struck out six times. Owen Underwood rocks into his windup. Church slices that one foul down the right field line into the bullpen. Two balls and one strike now to Church. Cohen Underwood on the mound tonight for Greenup County. Looking at his pitching statistics so far this year. Coming into the season, he is considered the top of the rotation pitcher for the Musketeers. That's a nice shot, though, by Parker Church into left field. And here comes uh, Francis around third base. He's going to score, too. There's a wild throw in from left field, and Church is going to get into second base. Big time hit for the Tomcats here in the top half of the first inning is two runs across the plate. That was Hunter Holbrook out in left field making the play for Greenup County. That'll bring L.J. Murphy, the left-handed hitter, to the plate. He's also the pitcher tonight for the Tomcats. Cohen Underwood, he has a 5.09 ERA this season, 11, 11 innings pitched. He struck out 13 hitters in those 11 innings. But Ashland is in business here in the top half of the first as Underwood starts Murphy with a strike. Talking to the Ashland coaches before the game, they've got to get their offense on track. Both these teams, kind of the same story. They want to get their offense on track. Ashland with only four hitters hitting above 200 in their batting order. L.J. Murphy, one of them. He's hitting 231 on the season. Greenup County with only four hitters hitting over uh, 200 as well. So both these teams have got to try to get their offense going. That's the story of the season so far for these squads. But things look promising for the Tomcats here early as the umpire behind the plate does not like the high pitches right now. Two balls and one strike, or one one ball and one strike to L.J. Murphy. That Parker Church out on second. Just underway here. Beautiful night from the Greenup County Baseball field, the entire Greenup County sports complex is full tonight. There's the pitch from Cohen Underwood off the plate. Two balls and one strike to Murphy. 
we have a track meet going on, the Farm Fast Track Meet over at the Greenup County Football Stadium. Uh, 16 high schools over there competing in that event. We have tennis matches going on behind us here. Crowded place here at Greenup County tonight. Cohen Underwood looks plateward. That one skied in the air, calling it as Casey Gammon, the shortstop, and uh, he'll retire Murphy for the second out of the inning. That'll bring Pierce Wamsley to the plate. Pierce Wamsley is hitting uh, 077 so far this year. So it's been a slow start to the season for Pierce Wamsley. Looking to get things started here and has an opportunity here in the top half of the first inning to drive home the run. Parker Church out there in scoring position at second base, getting a huge lead off second base, and Cohen Underwood notices that and steps off the rubber and will move Church back. Delivers the pitch to the plate. It's a strike in there. 0-1 oh the count, two away here in the top half of the first. The Tomcats have already plated two runs on the single by Parker Church. He moved on to second base on the errant throw. Breaking balls up high. One ball, one strike. Ashland coming off a loss last night at East Carter, 8 to nothing. While Greenup County coming off a win on Monday night right here from their home field. They beat Fleming County 3-2 to two in 10 innings. It was quite a game. We had that one on my town. There's a pop-up down the left side. Gavin Roy giving chase. Not going to get it as it falls between Holbrook, Roy, and Gammon. So it'll be nothing more than a long strike. One ball and two strikes. The count to Pierce Wamsley. Parker Church will return to second base. As the Tomcats looking to put one more on the board for L.J. Murphy, their starting pitcher tonight. L.J. Murphy, he's only thrown five innings this season but hasn't given up a run yet, has a 0.00 earned run average. Pretty good. Underwood fires back to Gammon, trying the pickoff play on Church. Did not work. One ball, two strikes. Just got to focus on Pierce Wamsley here. Get the Musketeers out of this inning and head to the bottom of the first. Well, they'll get their first at, first at bat. Timeout called by Wamsley. He steps out of the batter's box. Wamsley looking for some contact here. Underwood delivers the pitch. Wamsley fouls that one off down the left field line. He was early on that one. Count remains at one and two. Underwood from the stretch. The senior pitcher and leader of this Musketeer squad this year. Trying to get him out of inning number one. And he does so as he catches Pierce Wamsley looking. So after a half inning of play here from Greenup County, it's Ashland 2, Greenup County coming to bat. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Whether it happens without warning or you're able to plan ahead, when it comes to your heart, you want the very best care. Advice you can trust. Advanced technology. To understand, to be heard, to have a say. Professionals who have the knowledge and experience to get it right. Excellent care that's nationally recognized. You want the heart experts at King's Daughters. Because when it comes to your heart, we have exactly what it wants. Right now, one in six Kentucky sixth graders are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in six. It's never too early to get your child help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org.
Hi, I'm Clay with Pollock Strulers, and this uh, school season we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you in any of your gift giving needs. And uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. County High School, the Ashland Tomcats lead the Greenup County Musketeers by a score of two to nothing. We've just played half an inning of baseball. Tomcats send left-hander LJ Murphy to the mound tonight. LJ Murphy's a sophomore. He's pitched five innings of baseball this year, has one loss on his record, but no earned runs. So Murphy will face the Greenup County leadoff hitter Matthew Boggs. He throws ball one. That pitch is off the plate. Two balls and no strikes to Boggs. Greenup County looking to retaliate for the two runs Ashland scored in the top half of the first inning. Boggs fouls that one out of play. Two balls and one strike. Boggs hitting 304 so far this season for the Musketeers. One of the top hitters on the team, and he's the top hitter in the line. Fogg smacks that one to center field. Sam Lyons on the run. He'll make the catch, and there's one away. Up next for the Musketeers, number 23, Bradley Atkins. That'll bring Bradley Atkins to the plate, the sophomore catcher for Greenup. Greenup County, glad to have him back in the lineup tonight. He's missed all the games since the Boyd County game where he got hit in the face with the baseball. He takes that one up high, ball one. But he told me before the game he's doing fine, glad to be back, and uh, we're glad to have him back as Bradley Atkins, one of the top hitters on this Musketeer team. He smacks that one up through the middle, and nice stop made by Pierce Wamsley, but Bradley Atkins will be on with an infield single. And that brings Cohen Underwood to the plate. Underwood's hitting 208 so far this season. He had the game-winning RBI in the last outing for the Musketeers, a sacrifice fly out to center field in the bottom half of the 10th inning against Fleming County late Monday night. Murphy delivers the pitch. Underwood puts that one in the gap in right center field. Lyons is on his horse. He gets over there. Good play by Sam Lyons getting the ball and getting it in. Very quickly, good throw from Lyons, but Underwood's in with a stand-up double, and the Musketeers are in business. Next up for the Musketeers, number 10, Colin Alexander. That'll bring back, uh, bring another guy to the plate that Greenup gets back tonight. He, too, was injured in the Boyd County game. He hurt his shoulder on a play at first base. Uh, looks like a pinch runner is coming in for Greenup County, number nine, into the game. I'll check out who that is for you, number nine. Number nine, Sawyer Hatfield. Alexander smacks that ball to second base. It gets past Wamsley, and that'll bring home Bradley Adkins. It'll move Hatfield over to third base, and Alexander will be on first. Greenup County striking back quickly here against L.J. Murphy. They gave up two runs in the top half of the first inning, but uh, the Musketeers are, looks like they are ready to hit today as Hunter Holbrook stands in now. Hunter Holbrook hitting 192 on the season. Slices that one into the Tomcat dugout, strike one. Both these teams getting ready to head to Sunnier Skies, the uh, as, uh, Ashland's going to head to Myrtle Beach this week. Greenup County is going to be headed off to, they're going to Vero Beach, Florida. So 
Musketeers have a long trip down to V-Row Beach. Ashland headed to Myrtle Beach after this game here tonight. And where both teams will face uh, teams from all over the, the, the eastern half of the country, really. Uh, Ashland already has on their schedules teams from Virginia, South Carolina, West Virginia, and Georgia. Greenup County had a couple teams on their schedule already from, from Louisville, of all places. Louisville DeSales and Bullet East. Down at the Jackie Robinson Training Complex in Vero Beach. Greenup County will be headed there next week. One ball, one strike, the count to Hunter Holbrook. Holbrook gets underneath that one, skies it down the left side. Let's Drew Kelly after it in foul territory. He cannot make the play. So it'll just fall harmlessly for a strike. One ball and two strikes. Holbrook will stand back in with runners on the corners. Here in the bottom half of the first inning, two to one, Ashland on top of Greenup. What a nice night for baseball here from Greenup County. Uh, of course, as you know, probably it's Cincinnati Reds opening day, Major League Baseball opening today. Uh, lots of festivities there. Last I heard, the Reds were up seven to nothing. Um, so a good day for the Reds. Murphy delivers the breaking ball. It's sliced into right field. Holbrook puts it out there for Gage Millett. He makes the catch and sacrifice fly RBI for Hunter Holbrook. And we're tied at two. Up next for number 13, Logan. That'll bring Ty Logan to the plate. Logan's hitting 071 this year. Greenup County has a whole bunch of hitters that need to get going. This is one of them. Ty Logan, Gavin Roy hitting 053. Casey Gammon hitting uh, uh, 050. Wow. Underneath the 100 mark of these three guys, they, they need to get going yeah. for the Musketeers. Hopefully the you know, Vero Beach can uh, help them out. Ty Logan standing in, one ball, no strikes, as Murphy throws over to first base. They hear the starting gun in the back, in the background there, uh, over at the, the track. Uh, Sixteen teams over there at the Farm Fast track meet this year. Greenup County hosting that, a great event. That ball is fouled, and a nice diving catch. Made by Ashland first baseman Caden Church. So good job by the Tomcats getting out of that inning there with only two runs. So after one complete here, it's Ashland 2, Greenup County 2. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Trust is something earned, not given. For over 90 years, KFB has built trust in your community. We believe our neighborhood is our responsibility. Through our quality service, innovative products, and local decision making, we are committed to your financial success. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the Tri-State. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. We're back here from Greenup County High School, 2-2 after one inning of play. Greenup County Musketeers, Ashland Tomcats. Hayden Church stands in after making the nice play over at first base to end the inning. Caden Church blisters that ball into left field, but Hunter Holbrook is right there to catch it. Hard hit ball from Church there, one away. Up next, number two, Zane Ingram. 
That'll bring Zane Ingram to the plate. Zane Ingram's hitting 083 this year for the Tomcats. One of these hitters that, uh, you know, these, as I said, both these teams have multiple guys hitting down around uh, underneath the Mendoza line, you know, underneath 200. Uh, this is one of those guys Ashland hopes to get going as the season progresses. One ball, no strike. The count to Zane Ingram. That's a ball off the plate inside. 2-0 and the count now from Underwood to Ingram. Ashland comes into this game 0-5 on the season, looking for their first win. They played pretty stiff competition so far as Underwood delivers strike one across the plate. Ashland lost to Rowan County, Paintsville, Cabell, Midland, and Huntington High, and then East Carter last night. There's the pitch down in the dirt from Underwood. Three balls and one strike, the count to Zane Ingram. Cohen Underwood, 25 pitches into his outing here tonight. Only the top half of the second inning. Underwood stares plateward. 3-1 the count. Rocks into his windup, delivers the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. Full count to the number eight hitter on the Tomcats, Zane Ingram. Chokes up on his back quite a bit here, going to try to make contact. Does not do so, didn't need to do so. That ball's down low, and Cohen Underwood's put Zane Ingram on. Up next, number 12, Gage Bullet. Underwood has six walks on the season in 11 innings coming into the game tonight, so control isn't something he usually struggles with. Here's the number nine hitter for the Tomcats, Gage Millette. Puts down a nice bunt, good sacrifice. Underwood fields it, on to first. Gets the out. That'll move Zane Ingram over to second base, so it'll turn the lineup back over to the top of the order. Sam Lyons will come to the plate with a runner out there on second base in scoring position. See if Lions can get a two-out RBI here from the top spot in the order. Lions only hitting 111 so far on this young season. Swing and a miss. No balls and one strike. 2-2 two -two the score. Ashland with a, another scoring threat going here in the top half of the second inning. They were shut out last night at East Carter. That ball's off the plate. One ball, one strike, or make it two balls. and Well, no, one ball, one strike, actually. One ball, one strike, two outs here. Top half of the second. Underwood pitching from the stretch. Sun's peeking through here. Breaking balls up high, two and one. Underwood delivers the pitch, a swing and a miss. Two balls and two strikes. Now the count to Sam Lyons. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Two twos the score here in the top half of the second inning. Both these teams, Greenup County and Ashland, young teams for the most part across the board uh, looking to get better as the season goes on. Underwood delivers, strike three. Yep, he got him. Caught Lions looking to end the inning. So after one and a half innings, it's 2-2 here from Greenup County. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024.
safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. We're back here in Lloyd, Kentucky, home of the Greenup County Musketeers on My Town TV. Where the Ashland Tomcats and Greenup County Musketeers are tied up at two, going into the bottom half of the second inning. Greenup County will bring to the plate their number seven, eight, and nine hitters this inning. Gavin Roy, Gage Gullett, and Casey Gammon. These are some of the hitters that Greenup County needs to get going as this season progresses. Gavin Roy hitting 053 so far this year. Gage Gullett hitting 111. And Casey Gammon hitting 050. So any contribution here from these three would be a positive sign for the Musketeers. Early in this season, it's lefty on lefty here. Gavin Roy stands in. He's a left-handed hitter. And L.J. Murphy pitches from the stretch on the mound. Delivers the pitch down and away. One ball and no strikes. There's the pitch from Murphy. That one's right in there on the outside corner. One ball and one strike. To Roy. Roy slices that one down the third baseline foul. One ball and two strikes. Just missed that one going over the third base bag and having him a big hit. But not to be as Murphy delivers the pitch just off the outside corner. Really close there from L.J. Murphy. Gavin Roy stands in. Two balls and two strikes the count. There's the pitch. Off-speed pitch gets him. Gets him out in front of that one. Strike out. Number one of the night for L.J. Murphy. And one away here in the bottom half of the second inning. Gage Gullett stands into the plate. Gullett, a junior. Playing the role of the designated hitter tonight, and he comes through immediately as he sends it to Sam Lyons in center field for a base hit single. Got it hitting for Carter Ratcliffe, who's playing right field tonight. Casey Gammon will stand at the plate now. The sophomore shortstop. Getting back into baseball form after a good basketball season. Greenup County winning their 63rd district championship this year on the hardwood for the first time in seven years. So it's a big year for the Musketeers there as Gammon takes ball one. Gammon was part of that squad. Bradley Atkins was part of that. Uh, going Underwood. Nice throw down to first base there by Marushi. Uh, Caden Church wanted the call there over at first base, but not to be. Casey Gammon, two balls and no strikes. Puts the bat on that one, sends it over to the track meet. Look out in the long jump. Well, Casey Gammon put that one right over there, right in between the long jump and high jump pit. Two balls and one strike the count. Murphy, left-hander, facing the right-hander Gammon. That one's down low. And Gage Gullett's going to go ahead and take second base. Three balls, one strike to Gammon. Gullett showing off his speed there from first base to second base. As that ball's just off the plate. Outside, another walk. Casey Gammon goes down to first. So, Musketeers are mounting a threat and a rally here in the second inning as well. They put two across in the first inning. As the consistent Matthew Boggs stands in, he flied out to the center fielder his first try. Boggs squares to bunt, lays down a nice one. 
but it rolls foul. Going down the third baseline, good job by Brady Marushi being patient there, letting that roll foul. So one strike on Matthew Boggs. He looking to move the runners over. Both these teams just looking to manufacture runs the best they can so far early in the season with so many hitters on each squad having rough starts to the year. Trying to play some small ball right now. Matthew Boggs has good speed as well. Wouldn't doubt he could beat it out here if he lays down a nice bunt. Uh, L.J. Murphy working from the stretch. Runners on first and second. Boggs squares to bunt again. Fouls it off again. No balls and two strikes. So the bunt may be out of play now for Matthew Boggs. Maybe time to swing away with two strikes. That couldn't be such a bad thing. He's 304 on the season. Five RBIs. Gullet out on second. Gammon over on first. And Boggs puts the bat on the ball and lines out. And nice play. Oh, <laughs> close play at first base. Is Casey Gammon back in by a whisker over there at first base. Here comes uh, Coach Shane Marucci going to come out and have a word with the umpire on that one. Tomcats leave that one uh, disappointed. Marucci heads back to the dugout. Two outs, though. Two outs in the bottom half of the second. 2-2 the score. Musketeers... With two runners on base, gullet out on second, and Gammon over on first. Here's Bradley Adkins standing in. He singled in his uh, first effort tonight. Let's see if Bradley Adkins can keep that going. And we have a balk called. That'll move the runners up. That'll help out. Put two runners in scoring position now for Bradley Adkins. Can't like that if you're Coach Shane Marushi at this point of the game. Bradley Atkins, a 364 hitter for the Musketeers so far, four of 11 on the season. And Bradley Atkins smokes one into center field. Sam Lyons on his horse, cannot get it. It's all the way to the wall. Two runs are going to come around and score. Bradley Atkins going to try to go ahead and head for third. He's going to be in there standing up with a triple. How about that? Welcome back, Bradley Atkins, to the Musketeer lineup in a big way as he Singles and scores in the first and triples home two runs here in the bottom half of the second. The addition of Adkins and, of course, the cleanup hitter Colin Alexander back to the lineup. That can sure help out these Musketeers. Bradley Atkins going to come on out of the game for a courtesy runner. Number three going to come in this time for the Musketeers. I'll do my best to check out who that is for you as Greenup County hasn't entered any of their numbers this year. It's Luke Boggs over on the uh, over on third base. They haven't entered, uh, entered them on the KHSAA site this year. So fortunately, Luke Boggs played in that last game. So Luke Boggs comes in to run on third base. Cohen Underwood takes ball one. Murphy delivers up high. Marushi, good arm shown from behind the plate there forcing Luke Boggs to dive back into third base. Brady Marushi, really good catcher, another young player, sophomore, good football player as well. For the Tomcats, it's, that's ball three, L.J. Murphy being particularly careful here to the senior, experienced senior, Cohen Underwood, knowing he's capable of really producing some damage here as he goes ahead and walks him on four pitches. Runners on first and third for the Musketeers. Two away here in the bottom half of the second. That'll bring the cleanup hitter. Colin Alexander back in. As here comes, uh, I believe that's Sawyer Hatfield coming in to run at first base. Luke Boggs on third, Sawyer Hatfield on first. As Colin Alexander stands in to hit for the Musketeers. Greenup County up 4-2 to two here in the bottom half of the second inning. 
LJ Murphy delivers the pitch, but the bunt's put down by Alexander. That's shocking. Nice play over at first base as we saw a play uh, similar to the one Colin Alexander got injured on at Boyd County, but Ashland makes the play for the third out of the inning. Not very often you see the cleanup hitter lay down the bunt, but good job by the Tomcats fielding it. One to four for the out. And that gets them out of the inning. After two complete, it's four to two, Greenup County over Ashland. Thank you for watching. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollock Strollers. And this uh, school season, we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you in any of your gift giving needs. And uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap. HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. We're back here at Greenup County High School. As the Musketeers have uh, changed pitchers here. We're going into the top half of the third inning. I thought we might see Cohen Underwood for a longer outing tonight before the Musketeers head to the beach, but he is removed from the game after two innings of work. Cohen Underwood will go out to right field in place of Carter Ratcliffe. Carter Ratcliffe will move to left field. And the new pitcher in the game is Hunter Holbrook. The freshman, Hunter Holbrook, takes the mound for the Musketeers here in inning number three. So one of the few times on this young Greenup County team they have an all-senior outfield right now. Carter Ratcliffe in left field, Matthew Boggs in center field, and Cohen Underwood over in right field. But that puts them with an all-sophomore infield. Gavin Roy, Casey Gammon, Ty Logan, Colin Alexander, and Bradley Atkins behind the plate. And a freshman on the mound facing the two, three, and four hitters for the Tomcats, Brady Marushi, Drew Kelly, and Parker Church. Holbrook has pitched 3.2 innings so far this year, has a 15.27 ERA, so his one time out was not a good time. Marushi welcomes him to the game, and uh, Matt Boggs gets over and makes that catch in center field. No problem. One away. Solid contact made there by Brady Marushi, but uh, right to the center fielder, Matthew Boggs. Drew Kelly comes up now. He's hitting 294 on the season. He's the Tomcat second leading hitter. He sacrificed himself the first time uh, when one to three, grounding out to the pitcher. Kelly puts a big swing on it, slices it down the right side, and nobody can get to it down there. It stayed in play, but no balls and one strike to Drew Kelly. 4-2, Greenup County on top here in the top half of the third inning. Ashland trying to... Get things in business going here with uh, Hunter Holbrook on the mound. The Musketeers trying to develop some pitching depth here early in the season. We saw a good outing uh, Monday night from Kyler Robinson, left-handed eighth grader. That ball's high and outside. One ball, one strike. Kelly rips that one down the left field line. Foul. One ball and two strikes. Holbrook ro rocks into his windup, delivers the pitch. Uh, Kelly fouls it off, stays alive. One ball and two strikes, still the count. Musketeers on top in this one, four to two. The top half of the third inning. 
Nice night for baseball here in Greenup County. That ball's up high. Two balls and two strikes. Kelly steps out of the batter's box. This will be one of our last games for a, a while here, Jeff. I believe uh, with the spring break coming up next week and all of the, our teams uh, heading off to the beaches across America, whether it be South Carolina or Florida to play. What's that? Does he want to head to the beach? I don't know. <laughs> Nobody's told me if he's headed that way. <laughs> he's going to stay right here. We wish all of our teams the best as they head to the beach. Uh, Drew Kelly puts the bat on that one. Going to take a good play here, and it's not going to happen as Gavin Roy cannot field it cleanly at third base. That's probably going to go as a single, I would imagine. I'll wait to see what the official score decides. Number seven, Parker Church. Yeah, it's going to go as a single. I believe it was going to be an infield single for Drew Kelly there. No, they gave him an Did they go ahead and give him an error? Okay, E5 again. We'll change that. We'll go with the official score here at Greenup County. It's Parker Church stands in. Drew Kelly over on first base. Tomcats trying to manufacture runs. To They've fallen behind 4-2 to two early in this one. There's a strike on the inside corner. One ball, one strike, one away here in the top half of the third. Church hitting 235 on this young season. Puts the bat on that one. Gammon, I believe, has a beat on it. Nope, it's Ty Logan at second base. He makes the call and makes the catch for the second out of the inning. That'll bring L.J. Murphy to the plate. The pitcher trying to help his own calls here. L.J. Murphy hitting 231 on the season. So the Tomcats, when they're making out their order right now, we're, you know, they put the second, third, fourth, and fifth hitters. Those are the top four hitters on the team. So they're going with the odds here as L.J. Murphy takes strike one. Kelly gets a moderate lead off first base. Holbrook in the stretch, delivers the pitch to the plate. Skied into the air. Roy chasing it over into foul territory. Will he make the play? He does this time. Good job, Gavin Roy, for the third out of the inning in foul territory. So after two and a half innings of play, it's Greenup County 4, Ashland 2. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Trust is something earned, not given. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the Tri-State. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. Right now, one in four Kentucky high school seniors are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in four. It's okay to ask for help and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. We're back here at Greenup County High School as we head to the bottom half of the third inning where the Greenup County Musketeers lead the Ashland Tomcats by a score of 4-2. to two. Greenup County has their number 5, 6, and 7 hitters coming to the plate, Hunter Holbrook, Ty Logan, and Gavin Roy. Facing L.J. Murphy, who remains on the mound for the Tomcats, 34 pitches into his outing tonight. Holbrook flied out to the right fielder. Gage Millett the first time. And he slices this one down that way. Back into the parking lot. No balls and one strike. 
you know, we don't want it to hit, fall right behind the press box because that's where the My Town Mobile is. <laughs> Holbrook fouls it right back as well. To, uh, no balls and two strikes. Here in the bottom half of the third. 4-2 the score. Greenup County on top looking to add to their lead and looking to get their offense going this year here against these Tomcats. Holbrook smacks it to the shortstop. Nicely fielded on the cross. Perfect play by Zane Ingram over to Caden Church. Nice fielding by the Tomcats there. Okay. Retiring Hunter Holbrook. It'll bring Ty Logan to the plate. Logan was retired in the first inning on a nice catch by Caden Church. Chops this one up the middle, and this one is not fielded cleanly by the second baseman, Pierce Wamsley. And Ty Logan will be aboard. I would imagine that will be an error on the Tomcats. E4. That brings Gavin Roy to the plate. Gavin Roy's 0 for 1, struck out in the last inning. So a runner over on first. The lefty L.J. Murphy looks at him and delivers that one low and outside. Ball one. Roy fouls that one right back here to us. One ball, one strike. One ball, one strike, one away. Bottom half of the third. Ty Logan's over on first base, courtesy of the error on Pierce Wamsley. Murphy being very patient here, working slowly on the mound. Delivers the pitch. Roy right to second base. Taylor made double play ball. Wamsley on the shortstop, but he can't. Unloaded onto first. The throw was a little low there to Zane Ingram, but they get the force. That's second base for Gavin Roy's on board via a fielder's choice. So it's four to six on the out at second base. That'll bring Gage Gullett to the plate for the Musketeers with two away here in the bottom of the third. Gullet skies this one into the air on the first base side. First baseman Church giving chase. The second baseman gives chase, and it falls fair as Wamsley cannot quite get a bead on it. Falls in fair down the just over the first base line there. So that'll move Gavin Roy on to third base. I imagine that falls in as a hit there. We'll give Gage Guttled a fortuitous single there down the first baseline. Just the Tomcats probably should have caught that one. Casey Gammon stands in now with runners on the corners. Gullet over at first, Gavin Roy at third. The throw goes over to first, running Gullet back. There's Gammon at the plate, and Murphy delivers the pitch plateward. It's a strike. Owen won the count to Gammon. That was high and away. One ball, one strike. Musketeers looking to add to their lead here in the bottom of the third, four to two. Outside corner with that one, one ball and two strikes. Gullet takes off. 
They're going to throw it back to second, and Gullet's in there with a stolen base. As I said in the first inning, Gullet showing, or the second inning, Gullet showing off his speed there. Just a peculiar play there as Gullet took off and uh, froze L.J. Murphy for a moment, and uh, Murphy finally turned and threw it to second base, but Gage Gullet swiping bases left and right tonight. So two runners in scoring position now for Casey Gammon. One ball, two strikes. If Gammon could come through here, get a hit, it'd be a big moment in the game for the Musketeers here early. Stretching their lead to possibly four. Murphy comes set in the stretch, delivers the pitch. It's high and outside. Two balls and two strikes to Gammon. 2-2 two, two the count, two away, bottom of the third, 4-2. Green up on top, Gammon looking to extend that lead. Roy on third, Gullet on second. There's the pitch from Murphy, breaking ball. Gammon hangs in there. Good job by Casey Gammon making contact on the curve ball from Murphy. The lefty Murphy, eyes home plate. Comes set in the stretch, delivers the pitch. Gammon swings and misses. Big strikeout for L.J. Murphy to get out of the inning. Unscathed. So after three complete here at Greenup, it's 4-2 Musketeers. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. <laughs> Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. We're back here at Greenup County High School. Greenup County, after three innings, leads the Ashland Tomcats 4-2. to two. Thank you for watching high school baseball here on My Town TV. Greenup County comes into this game with a 2-6 record. Ashland comes into this game with an 0-5 record. So this is two teams who have played tough schedules so far, who are both are very young for the most part and uh, looking to find their footing this year. Greenup County had a good 10-inning win the other night against Fleming County right here. We had that one for you on My Town TV Monday night. And Ashland looking for their first win of the season. Before both these teams will head to the beach next week, Ashland will be headed down to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Greenup County will be headed to Vero Beach, Florida to play an entire week's worth of games. And they'll come back and see if their teams are any different. Hunter Holbrook on the mound for the Musketeers facing Pierce Wamsley, the number six hitter for Ashland, who takes a swing and a miss at the first one. He struck out in the first inning. And Holbrook's out in front of Wamsley here in the fourth. Breaking ball is high and away. One ball and one strike. It's Wamsley, Caden Church, and Zane Ingram do up for the Tomcats here in the fourth. Holbrook delivers that one off the plate. Two balls and one strike. <coughs> Wamsley settles into the Batter's box. Smacks that one to the shortstop, Gammon. He fields it, fires it across the diamond. Nice play by Casey Gammon from his shortstop position for the first out of the inning. Up next, number five, Caden Church. 
That'll bring Caden Church to the plate for the Tomcats. Caden Church, uh, he's hitless so far this season. Has an average of zero. Looking for his first hit of the season. Turns on that one, almost gets hit by that one, but doesn't. <laughs> Not the kind of hit you're looking for, perhaps. One ball, no strikes. Swing and a miss. One ball and one strike to Caden Church. That ball's way outside. Two balls and one strike. Heads to the backstop. I look to my right here out of the press box. He looks like a fierce 400-meter uh, going on over there at the track right now, Jeff. <laughs> Heard some people screaming and yelling. Wondered what was going on. Looks like the girls are running around the track there. That's yeah, a low and outside. Three balls and one strike. There's the pitch from, well, that one did hit him. Uh, he was intent on getting hit. Caden Church will head on down to first base. So the Tomcats have a base runner here in the top half of the fourth. You know, a lot going on here at Greenup tonight. We got William Adams, the Writer for the Daily Independent here. You can cover like three things at once here tonight. We have tennis, track, uh, baseball. <laughs> no, he does a great job. I always enjoy your articles. That's a foul ball there by Caden Church. Or no, I'm sorry, Zane Ingram in now. 0-1 the count to Ingram. On a crowded night here at Greenup County High School. Lots of stuff going on. The farm fast track meet going on. Tennis match going on behind us and a baseball game right here in front of us that you're joining us for here tonight. Four to two, the Greenup County Musketeers lead this one. In the top of the fourth, Holbrook delivers another ball. Nope, it was a strike. A little delayed call there from the umpire. No balls and two strikes to Zane Ingram. Here's Holbrook from the stretch. Good lead over there. From Caden Church, big lead actually at first base. Surprised he didn't take off that time. There's a ball outside. One ball, two strikes to Ingram. Ingram, the eighth hitter for the Tomcats. In the eight hole tonight, he's hitting 083 so far this season. Swings and misses on that one. Two ball, oh, oh that was actually the third strike there. Yeah, struck him out. Two outs in the inning. And that'll bring up the number nine hitter, Gage Millett. Both these teams looking for some production out of the bottom of their orders. Gage Millett, he's another player. We well, only had one at bat so far coming into the game tonight. Well, let's see what Gage Millett can do as uh, Hunter Holbrook throws over to first base, trying to get Caden Church to shorten up that lead a bit. Holbrook from the stretch delivers it to the plate. Swing and a miss by Millette. No balls and one strike. Holbrook working from the stretch. Here's the pitch. It's uh, going to be strike two. I got to wait sometimes. Uh, this home plate umpire very patient in his calls. Huge lead off first base by Caden Church. And he is getting back. He has perfected the art of getting back to the bag here. Very surprised that Caden Church has not taken off with the enormous lead he's taking over at first. But it's no balls and two strikes to the hitter. Millette, and that one's up high. One ball, two strikes. Mm -hmm. 
Holbrook looking to get out of the top of the fourth. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Breaking ball is in there for strike three. Got him looking. So good job by Hunter Holbrook in the fourth inning. We're through three and a half innings of baseball here. It's Greenup County four, Ashland two. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Jim and Joe's Garage, family owned and operated for three generations. We sell cars, do body work and repair. We've got a full service mechanic for when your check engine light comes on. And we have all kinds of great parts and accessories. Stop by and see us sometime here at Jim and Joe's. We're back here in Lloyd, Kentucky, home of the Greenup County Musketeers, where the Greenup County Musketeers are on top of the Ashland Tomcats, 4-2 to two tonight in a My Town matchup. L.J. Murphy still on the mound. He was the starting pitcher tonight for Ashland. And he remains on the mound, the sophomore hurler. Not done a bad job tonight. Gave up two in the bottom of the first, two in the bottom of the second. Shut Greenup County out in the third inning. So now he'll be facing this Greenup County order for the third time around tonight. Let's see how they do against him uh, the third time around after seeing his stuff, uh, the first two. Murphy delivers the pitch as Boggs fouls it down the third base line and a good catch by Steve Logan over there, the head coach for the Musketeers, bare hand grab, showing his players how it's done in the field. No excuses for these Musketeers if the coach can make plays like that. Murphy delivers this one high and outside. One ball and one strike. Kind of a windy night here at Greenup County. Boggs puts this one over the second baseman into right field for a base hit. Good job by Matthew Boggs getting the leadoff hitter on. Here in the bottom half of the fourth for Greenup County, they're in business with the two, three, and four hitters coming up next. Bradley Atkins has had a good comeback night so far. Two of two, single and a triple in the last inning, all the way to the wall. Bradley Atkins is a ball player as uh, the ball goes on over to first base before I was relaxed. The music was jamming and everything. I was just <laughs> having a good time here, but they tried to pick off Matthew Boggs. Uh, before I could turn around, they try to pick him off again. Respecting the speed, obviously, of Matthew Boggs over at first base. He is a quick player for these Musketeers. That's ball one to Bradley Atkins. Not a lot of stolen bases yet this season, yet for Greenup, it's, but, but Matthew Boggs is the leader with two. Breaking ball is down low. Two balls and no strikes to Bradley Atkins. Boggs gets the lead off first, and L.J. Murphy fires it over there again, trying to keep Boggs close. That pitch is way high and outside, and... Nice throw by Marushi down to first base, but Boggs is back in safely. Three balls and no strikes to Bradley Atkins. I would suppose they'll be very careful here to Bradley Atkins with uh, three balls and no strikes and seeing what he's done so far tonight. And they go ahead and put him on with a walk. So the first two batters have reached base. Boggs out on second, Atkins on first. That'll bring Cohen Underwood to the plate. With a chance to get a Musketeer rally going here in the bottom half of the fourth inning, leading four to two. Uh, 
Underwood levels the bat. L.J. Murphy pitches from the stretch. 54 pitches now into his outing tonight. Breaking ball is high. One ball, no strikes to Underwood. Cleanup hitter Colin Alexander on deck. As I said, Musketeers more than happy tonight. Oh, Underwood gets solid contact on that one, sends it into left field. Cleanly fielded by the left fielder, Parker Church. He gets it in, but not before Matthew Boggs comes across and scores. RBI single for Cohen Underwood. Up next, number 10, Colin Alexander. Greenup County having a good success the third time through the order so far here against L.J. Murphy. I wondered after seeing him two times already if they would be on cue this third time through the lineup, and so far they have been. Colin Alexander stands in, rips this ball through the right side. Nope, good, good field by Pierce Wamsley. Throws it on to first base, dug out by Caden Church. Great job by Church over at first base, making the play on Colin Alexander. For the first out of the inning. That moves the runners up one base apiece. So Greenup County has runners on second and third now for the number five hitter, Hunter Holbrook. Hunter Holbrook. Holbrook now the pitcher for the Musketeers, so he can help his own cause here. With a base hit. Base hit scores two here, most likely. There's the pitch from Murphy, way up high and outside. Good. Job hopping out of his position there by Brady Marushi, catching that ball. Holbrook hitting 192 so far this year. And he's flied out to the right fielder and grounded out to the shortstop tonight. He fouls that one back to the backstop. One ball and one strike. One out here in the bottom half of the fourth inning. Greenup County on top, 5-2 to two with a real chance here to extend that lead as Hunter Holbrook stands in with runners on second and third. Tomcats have their infield pulled in. They're going to try to get the out at the plate. Uh, Holbrook chops it down the third baseline. Kelly fields it onto first base and Church. Oh, thought he picked it out of there that time, but could not dig it out. So the runner will be safe on, on first. It's got to be an error there. Probably on the throw, I would imagine, E5. The runners remain at second base and third base. So the bases are full now for Ty Logan. Caden Church doing his best job over at first base, trying to dig those balls out. There's a breaking ball. Scorch down the third base line foul. Coach Logan jumped out of the way of that one. No balls and one strike to Ty Logan. With a big time opportunity for the Musketeers here in the bottom of the fourth with the bases full. That ball's outside, one ball and one strike. LJ Murphy trying to pitch out of a jam here in the bottom of the fourth. Delivers the pitch. Logan slices it over into right field. Gage Millette giving chase. Cannot get there. That'll get a run home. Everybody's going to advance one base. So the Musketeers doing it one base at a time right now. Ty Logan gets the RBI single. Bradley Atkins comes home to score. Number, okay, number 12, Gavin Roy. So the Musketeers so far this inning, uh, they haven't had that one Huge blast, but they have had three singles in the inning. And they're getting there, slowly but surely. Now up 6-2 to two on the Tomcats. That brings Gavin Roy to the plate. He takes it inside, ball one. Gavin Roy. Looking to get started this year himself as he takes a strike on the outside corner. One ball and one strike. 
Roy struck out his first at bat, reached via a fielder's choice in his second at bat. Going to try to make something happen here, swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes to Roy. Only one out in the inning, so barring a double play, Gage Gullett will get his opportunity as well. L.J. Murphy gets set in the stretch. Infield's in as he takes strike three on the outside corner. Got him looking. Nice job by L.J. Murphy delivering the strike out there for the Tomcats at a critical time. And here's Gage Gullett standing in now with the bases full. Musketeers up six to two. Gullett's two for two on the night. He's singled twice. He goes ahead and calls timeout. Going to try to disrupt the pitcher's rhythm here. Gullett stands back in. As Murphy taking his time on the mound in the stretch. Delivers the pitch, and Gullett fouls that one off down the over on the another one delivered over to the track meet. Maybe the high jump this time. No balls, one strike. That ball's off the plate just a hair. One ball and one strike. Really close that time. It heads over to that high jump pit. It may catch Eli Atkins over there. That guy's a super athlete. I wouldn't be surprised if he could clear the high jump bar and catch the foul ball at the same time. Breaking ball is just off the plate. Two balls and one strike. L.J. Murphy just missing on some of these pitches. Not to the liking of the home plate umpire, and the bases are still full. 2-1 the count. Gullet sends another one foul. Two balls, two strikes to Gage Gullet. As L.J. Murphy trying to work his way out of this inning and keep the Tomcats in it. A big hit here from Gage Gullet could give them a the lead they need to put this one away. But Murphy trying to keep it a four-run game. And he does as he strikes out Gage Gullett. Big pitching by L.J. Murphy. Two strikeouts of Gavin Roy and Gage Gullett with the bases full to end the inning. So after four complete, it's Greenup County 6. Ashland 2 will be right back here on My Town TV. garage family owned and operated for three generations we sell cars do body work and repair we've got a full service mechanic for when your check engine light comes on and we have all kinds of great parts and accessories stop by and see us sometime here at jim and joe's We're back here at Greenup County High School for the top of the fifth inning coming up. The Greenup County Musketeers have switched pitchers once again. They went two innings with Cohen Underwood tonight. They went two innings with Hunter Holbrook. And now Ty Logan's going to get his shot from the pitcher's circle as Hunter Holbrook moves over to second base to take the place of Ty Logan. And Ty Logan moves in from second to pitch for these Musketeers. Let's check out Ty Logan's pitching stats so far on the season. Looks like he's thrown five innings. And of scoreless baseball, not bad. 0.0 ERA. He struck out five in the five innings he's pitched. So Ty Logan, this guy may have an arm on him here. Let's see what he's got here against the top of this Tomcat order. So he'll be tested here by Sam Lyons, Brady Marucci. And Drew Kelly here in the top half of the fifth inning. Six to two. 
Greenup County on top. Man, just watching Bradley Atkins throw that ball down a second, even on the uh, warm-up there. He has one of the best arms in the region. One of the best athletes, all-around athletes in the region, Bradley Atkins. He had a great year on the hardwood this year in basketball. Just a sophomore. And, uh, you know, great baseball catcher as well. Here we go, Sam Lyons. Tries things out. Ty Logan rocks into the windup, delivers the pitch, and it's Lyons fouls it off down the third base side. Strike one. Logan into the windup, delivers the pitch. Lyons out in front of that one, puts it high in the air. Somebody may get to it down there. No, they don't. Gavin Roy giving chase. Casey Gammon trying as well. As Carter Ratcliffe, number 14, coming in all the way in from left field, trying to take an effort at that one. Nobody can get it, though. No balls and two strikes. Sam Lyons. Another one of these multi-sport athletes. Really good football player for the Tomcats. He has a just a sophomore, good basketball player as well. He, he fouls this one down the third baseline. Gavin Roy giving chase. Oh, Gavin Roy makes a nice catch in foul territory this time down the third baseline for the first out of the inning. <laughs> Gavin Roy getting his practice in over there at third base at the hot corner today. Uh, he's had several of those. Pop-ups in foul territory. That one he got to and made a nice catch. Brady Marushi stands in for the Tomcats, leading hitter on this Tomcat team. He has smashed one out of the park this year. He's the only Tomcat with a home run. Takes ball one. Drew Kelly on deck. Got to think if the Tomcats want to do some damage, it'd be right now, top of the order. As Marushi takes strike one. Top of the order up, though, here in the top half of the fifth inning. Greenup County on top by four, six to two. Greenup County offensively this time has just dominated the game so far. That ball's way outside. Two balls and one strike. Nine hits for the Musketeers so far. One for the Tomcats. I think the score would be a lot more lopsided than it is. Ashland fortunate to be in this one right now. With the two runs, they played it in the top half of the first inning. Marushi smacks that one down the left field line. It's going to go foul into the bullpen. Two balls, two strikes. One away, top half of the fifth inning. Here's the pitch from Logan. Marushi kind of knuckleballed that one to the second baseman Holbrook on to first, makes the play, four to three. Nice job by Hunter Holbrook over to Colin Alexander for out number two. That'll bring Drew Kelly to the plate. On this cool night from Greenup County. Logan delivers the pitch to Kelly. He chops it down the third base side. Gavin Roy gets it, makes the play, across the infield, one, two, three inning. After four and a half, it's Greenup County six. Ashland two will be right back here on My Town TV. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. To know that we impacted him it, um, really helps, but I don't know if they really know how much they impacted us. The things these kids go through, we can't imagine. Almost every foster that we've had, we still have contact with. We choose to continue to foster with Remy Eastad because they've become family. I've never felt like they say, here you go, you're on your own. You can call them at any time. If they don't have the answer right at hand, they'll find it and get back with you.
We head to the bottom of the fifth inning here in Greenup County. Greenup County Musketeers on top of the Ashland Tomcats by a score of 6-2. to two. Jeff, I was just thinking I wore my sweatshirt tonight. 54 degrees here. You're in short sleeves. You're tough. I mean, this guy does it all here next to me, Jeff. He's the producer. He's the cameraman. He's the... He brought the gear in at the, you know, I mean, he's done it all. And he's doing so in short sleeves here tonight in 50-degree weather here in Greenup County. <laughs> we're partially inside, so that helps. We are, yeah. We're not just out in the wind. Yeah, the wind is blowing tonight somewhat here and there. I can feel it, and I was just thinking my hands are getting a little chilly up here. But then I looked over at you, and I thought I can't complain. I always like it cold anyway. L.J. Murphy still on the mound for the Tomcats. 71 pitches into his outing tonight. He'll be facing the number nine hitter in the Greenup County order, Casey Gammon. There's strike one. Gammon would like to get aboard here, turn the lineup over to the top of the order with a runner on base. Could be dangerous. We are going to be doing track. Uh, we'd like to let everybody know we'll be doing a track meet here, I believe, next month. I believe. <laughs> and I was really looking forward to it. This looks like a tremendous track meet to be doing, the, the Farm Fast. That's the one I got to do last year over there as I look out to my right here and see the runners. Looks like we have, uh, what is it, 16 schools here visiting tonight? 16 schools. Yeah. In the throwing division, there's maybe 60. It, 60. Per. Oh, my. Yeah. Well, I'd say when this baseball game's over, the track meet's still going to be going on late into the night. Yes, his kid runs or is in track. Me. So oh, outstanding. <laughs> There's a pop-up pop up by Casey Gammon. That's a good idea. It is warmer here than it is over there. Casey Gammon flies out to the second baseman, Pierce Wamsley, for out number one. Matthew Boggs. That was Greenup County Superintendent Tracy Maracy here in the press box here talking about the track meet over there. I got to cover the farm fast track meet last year. Looking forward to hopefully covering. A, there's a slice down the right field line. Just foul by Matthew Boggs. Strike one. But that was a good time over there last year covering the farm fast track meet. Jeff, you'll have to come out to the track meet this year if we do one over here. And, uh, I think I'm scheduled for the next one that we do. That's outstanding. Yeah, get your running shoes on and head around the entire uh, facility over there like we met myself and Jeremy did last year. Uh, it was a fun time. I don't know about that. <laughs> ball one up high. One ball, one strike. Well, it was a good thing last year, you know, giving those track athletes some coverage time. They don't get a lot of coverage for the most part, but uh, seeing those people uh, up, up close and personal doing those events, I mean, it was really impressive last year. Uh, really, the first, to be honest, the first time I'd gotten to see a track meet uh, – from that viewpoint, uh, seeing every event up close and personal, and uh, it was fun time. Boggs pops this one into center field. Sam Lyons underneath it, makes the catch. Second out of the inning. L.J. Murphy having a good outing for the Tomcats, keeping them in the game right now. When it could have gotten out of hand that last inning, they had loaded up the bases and uh, with one out, but he struck out Gavin Roy and Gage Gullett to end that rally. And he started out this inning with two pop-ups, Casey Gammon at the second baseman and Matthew Boggs to the center fielder, Sam Lyons. He delivers strike one to Bradley Atkins. Just a bit outside that time, one ball, one strike. When Murphy has missed, it hasn't been by much most of the night. Adkins rifles that foul ball over near the Tomcat dugout. One ball, two strikes. One ball, two strikes, two outs here in the bottom half of the fifth. Greenup County up six to two. Murphy delivers the pitch. That's up high. Two balls and two strikes. Murphy only a sophomore. These are two teams. We'll see a lot of these players on the field for both of these teams the next two years. I would look for both these teams to be very strong teams in the next couple seasons and uh, possibly even later on this season. Bradley Atkins fouls that one down the 
third base side. Even Coach Logan couldn't take a diving stab at that one. Let's it go. Murphy looking for the strike to get out of this inning. Delivers the pitch just off the plate as Marushi tried to frame it up there. Brady Marushi, one of the better catchers in the area as well. Two of them right here standing in the batter's box and behind the home plate, Brady Marushi and Bradley Atkins, two sophomore catchers. As good as anybody, Bradley Atkins pops this one high into the sky. Let's see who calls it. Drew Kelly looks like he's got a bead on it. He gives way at the last second to Zane Ingram. Good communication by the Tomcats for a 1-2-3 inning. Three flyouts in the inning. We'll go to the top half of the sixth. Greenup County leads this one 6-2. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Hey, we're Jim and Joe's Garage. Family owned and operated for three generations. We sell cars. Do body work and repair. We've got a full service mechanic for when your check engine light comes on. And we have all kinds of great parts and accessories. Stop by and see us sometime here at Jim and Joe's. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. We're back here at Greenup County High School where the Greenup County Musketeers lead the Ashland Tomcats in a My Town matchup by a score of 6-2. to two. After five innings of baseball, we head to the top half of the sixth inning here from the beautiful Greenup County Baseball Complex. As pitcher Ty Logan takes the mound again for his second inning of work. We've seen Cohen Underwood for two innings. We've seen Hunter Holbrook for two innings. And we've seen Ty Logan for one inning so far tonight for the Musketeers. Well, I'm sorry, that is not Ty Logan on the mound anymore. That's number 12 on the mound. Looks like they brought Gavin Roy in to do the pitching now for the Musketeers. So Ty Logan only went one inning. If my old eyes are not failing me. That's number 12, right? Okay, on the mound, all right. So Ty Logan looks like he moves over to third base. Yep, number 13, Ty Logan stays at third, or switches to third now, and Gavin Roy goes to the mound. That's Coach Steve Logan. He continues to test me here with my early season uh, lineup changes. Did the Boyd County game last week. Uh, Greenup County changed pitchers every single inning in that game. And not, not only pitchers, but multiple position players every single inning. So I just gave up after about three or four innings. Here we go. Ashland will bring Parker Church, their cleanup hitter, to the plate to lead things off. And Parker Church leads it off well, striking the ball hard, but good job by Matthew Boggs out in center field. Got a good jump on the ball and made the catch. Solid contact made by Parker Church for the Tomcats, but he – is retired for the second time tonight. That brings L.J. Murphy to the plate. He's flied out twice, once to the shortstop, once to the third baseman. He swings and fouls it back to the backstop. 0-1 oh the count. That's Gavin Roy, sophomore on the mound for the Musketeers. No balls and one strike. Uh, breaking ball looked like that one was a nice pitch from Gavin Roy. Just missed. One ball, one strike. To Murphy, the left-handed hitter for the Tomcats, who will step out. Roy pitches it right down the middle. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Pierce Wamsley on deck for the Tomcats. Looking to try to get their bats going. And they do get their bats going. Murphy delivers it, strikes it all the way. It's going to roll almost nearly to the wall in center field as 
LJ Murphy has himself a stand-up double. Put it over the head of center fielder Matthew Boggs. LJ Murphy will take a brief time out, head over to the third base coach Shane Marushi and hand his batting gloves to him. Turn things over to Pierce Wamsley at the plate now. Runner in scoring position. Tomcats need to get something going here in the top half of the sixth inning. Trailing six to two. Gavin Roy pitching from the stretch now. Peering plateward. Comes set, delivers the pitch up high and inside. One ball and no strikes to Wamsley. There we go, Wamsley. Waiting in the batter's box. Another one high and inside. Two balls and no strikes now. Tomcats looking to mount a rally here. Top half of the sixth inning. They have not been the most productive offensive team this year, scoring 4-3-1-4-0 last night in their five games. Twelve runs total this year for Ashland. For this game here tonight where they've played two in the top half of the first but have been held scoreless since. L.J. Murphy stands out on second. That one's right down the middle. Wamsley belts it down the left field line. I believe it's foul, though. Yep. Got out in front of it. Two balls and one strike. A long strike for Pierce Wamsley. Roy pitching from the stretch, being very patient here in the top half of the sixth inning. Swing and a miss by Pierce Wamsley. Two balls and two strikes. Musketeers have worked a lot of pitchers on their staff early in the season. Coming into this game tonight, they had already thrown nine pitchers. on this young season. They're two and six. As coach Steve Logan, I'm sure, just trying to find what works and what doesn't at this point in the season and uh, head down to Vero Beach next week. Talk to assistant coach Jason Gambin over there. Apparently they're flying down there this week, so uh, that's good for the Musketeers that they won't have to embark on a, you know, I don't know how many hours is it to Vero Beach, Jeff? Long way. <laughs> Full count now to Pierce Wamsley. So they're going to fly down and fly back. Tomcats will be taken off to go to Myrtle Beach. And when these teams come back, it will seem like no time. It'll be, uh, we'll be in the districts, you know. <laughs> they come back, you know, they start to, it'll be about four, four to six weeks and we'll have the, District play, 63rd district play will be right here at Greenup County this year. Wamsley gets behind that one, sends it into left field. Ratcliffe back on it. Has a beat on it, it looks like. He makes the catch for the out. Long out by Pierce Wamsley. A good play by Carter Ratcliffe out there in left field, the senior. Up next, number five. Making the catch for the second out of the inning. That'll bring Caden Church to the plate. Caden Church got hit by the pitch the last time. Looking for his first hit of the year. Flied out to the left fielder in the first inning, or the second inning, first at bat. And then we got a board via the hit by pitch in the fourth. Chops this one to Casey Gammon. Gammon makes a beautiful play, as always. Casey Gammon consistent with the glove. Third out of the inning as we're through five and a half here at Greenup County. It's Greenup six, Ashland two. We'll be right back on My Town TV. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024.
Be safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. We're back here at Greenup County High School. We head to the bottom half of inning number six. Greenup County on top, six to two over the Ashland Tomcats. Ashland making a pitching change. L.J. Murphy ends his night after five innings of pretty good pitching from L.J. Murphy tonight. Retired the last five hitters he faced, striking out Gavin Roy and Gage Gullett and then getting flyouts to Casey Gaiman, Matthew Boggs, and Bradley Adkins. He'll turn things over to number eight, Jonah Francis. Jonah Francis appears to be a freshman for these Tomcats. Let's see if he has taken the mound so far this year for Ashland. He has not. This is Jonah Francis' first appearance on the mound for the Tomcats this year. So let's see what Francis brings against the heart of Alexander and Hunter Holbrook. We'll come to the plate for Greenup County. So good challenge for Jonah Francis, the freshman, right out of the gate this season. Up first for the Musketeers, number four, Cohen Underwood. Underwood is two for two on the night so far. Got himself a double and a single. Scored a run in the first. He's going to try to keep that going. So he got his average up over 200. He's a 208 coming into the game, and he's headed north on that average, and you expect uh, nothing less than uh, that from the senior Cohen Underwood, the leader of this Musketeer squad this year. Ball one from Francis. Cohen Underwood getting his baseball legs under him after a good year on the basketball court. Takes ball two. 6-2, Greenup County on top here in the bottom half of the sixth inning, just looking to add insurance runs. They've just got to retire three more Ashland hitters. Underwood gets underneath that one. Sends it to left field. Left fielder, oh, comes in on it and absolutely misses that one. Parker Church lets it go off his glove, and Cohen Underwood will be in with an error on the left fielder. Well, the freshman uh, pitcher for the Tomcats here, uh, Jonah Francis, needs his fielders to support him here as his first appearance of the season. And here's Colin Alexander, the cleanup hitter for the Musketeers. Down and inside, one ball and no strikes. Francis working from the stretch, delivers the pitch high to Colin Alexander. Two balls and no strikes. Makes that 3-0 and now to Colin Alexander. Francis thrown six pitches so far, one strike. That one strike, Cohen Underwood belted into left field. It was dropped. There's a strike, three balls and one strike. The count to Alexander. Hunter Holbrook stands on deck for the Musketeers. Francis set, looking back at Underwood, delivers it way high. Ball four. Colin Alexander will go on over to first base. That'll bring Hunter Holbrook to the plate. Hunter Holbrook coming into the game batting 192. And he is 0 for 3 tonight. He is uh, flied out to the right fielder, grounded out to the shortstop, and reached via an error on the third baseman. Francis steps off of the... Rubber walks Underwood back to second base. There's the pitch. Holbrook squared to bunt, pulled it back, but strike one. No 
No balls and one strike to Holbrook. Bottom half of the sixth inning for Greenup County. As they are looking to add some insurance runs. Holbrook pulls it back again. As Marushi comes up out of the stands from behind home plate and fires it down to second base, running Underwood back. One ball, one strike. And the count to Hunter Holbrook. Two young teams overall facing each other tonight. Holbrook, a freshman. Jonah Francis on the mound, a freshman. Francis turns around and throws that one back to second base. Underwood was safely back on the bag. It hit him. But it hit him kind of softly. Francis just turned around and lobbed it to second base. So one ball, one strike. The count, Francis delivers the pitch outside that time. Two balls and one strike. Six two Musketeers looking for some insurance. Holbrook squares to Bunn again, pulls it back again. Three balls and one. Nope, makes that one a strike. Two balls and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes to Hunter Holbrook. Francis delivers the pitch. Strike three. Sorry about my delay. I did not see the umpire signal at all that time. <laughs> he must have just said strike three. So first out of the inning, it brings Ty Logan to the plate. He'll be switching around and batting from the left side this time. As he is a switch hitter. Cohen Underwood out on second. Colin Alexander on first. Ty Logan. In for the Musketeers is Francis looking back at Underwood again. Taking his time here. Logan pops this one into the air. Marushi after it here right in front of us. He almost makes the catch but drops it right in front of us. He was coming right against the fence that time and uh, probably uh, got in his mind a little bit. As he had it in his mitt, it just fell out. So a dramatic strike is all that one is. Zero balls, one strike to Ty Logan. One out here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. Francis from the stretch delivers the pitch. That one hopped about uh, 40 feet. And it wound up hitting him, I suppose. So Ty Logan will take first base. If you're going to hit a batter, that is called not getting your money's worth if you're going to hit the batter that time. As he skipped that ball up from about 40 feet and uh, caught Logan. Bases are full now. For Gavin Roy. Left-hander Gavin Roy. Takes that one up high, ball one. Happened to be here last year. See Gavin Roy put one over the right field fence against uh, Lewis County, I believe. I believe it was Lewis County. Could have been Russell. My memory serves me right. But Gavin Roy has some power. He slices this one down the in foul territory down the left field line. And Zane Ingram gives chase but can't get to it. So it's a strike on Gavin Roy. One ball, one strike. And I said all that to say that uh, the Musketeers need to get Gavin Roy's back going because he does have the power uh, that can really help this lineup. Good baseball player. It's off to a slow start from the plate this year. The bases are full, though, of Musketeers. Francis delivers, and that's what you want to see from Gavin Roy right there as he turns on that one and delivers it all the way to the wall. Gavin Roy with a nice hit to the wall, cleans the bases. Well, nope, they're going to hold up the runner at third base, but good job by Roy coming through with a two-run double. That's the sweet swing that I remember last year seeing Gavin Roy put on the baseball. What a nice job. That makes the score 8-2. to two. 
Runner, runners on second and third base for the Musketeers. That may be just the insurance runs they were looking for there. Gage Gullett comes to the plate. Only one away, so still an opportunity for Greenup to add to their total on the scoreboard against the young Jonah Francis on the mound. Comes set to the stretch. Delivers the pitch down low, ball one. Logan on third. Roy on second and a swing and a miss by Gullet. One ball, one strike, one out. Bottom of the sixth. Greenup's put two on the board in the first, two in the second, two in the fourth, and two here in inning number six so far. That pitch is down in the dirt and a good stop by Marushi. Saving a run there. Two balls and one strike. The count to Gullet. Coach Steve Logan going to have a word with Gage Gullet as the home plate umpire heads out to the mound to have a word with Ashland pitcher Jonah Francis. Eight to two, Greenup County on top here. In the last game of the first part of the season for both of these teams as both these teams will head to the beach next week. Learn a lot about their teams there, I'm sure. And hopefully both come back better for it. Swing and a miss by Gage Gullett. Nice off-speed pitch there by Jonah Francis. Two balls and two strikes. As Gullett, another one of these musketeer hitters with the power to do something with it. He's just got to start making some more solid contact here early in the season. And he makes some solid contact there and skies it at left field. Parker Church underneath it makes the catch. They'll tag up, and both runners will advance a base. The run will come across. They're wanting to challenge it at second, and they say he left too early at second base. So Gavin Roy left too early at second base, and now Coach Steve Logan will come out and have a word with the base umpire. But I don't think it's going to change a thing. The run, does the run count, guys, on that one? Yeah, <laughs> I've been waiting to see if it counted or not. Yeah. So the second out of the inning occurred and the fly out to left field there. That was Gage Gullet flying out, but then. Uh, so that's the end of six innings of play. Regardless whether it's 8 2 or 9 2, we'll figure that out when we come back. We'll be right back here for the seventh on My Town TV. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollock Jewelers. And this uh, school season, we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you in any of your gift giving needs. And uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606 324 7181 to schedule an appointment. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. We're back here at Greenup County High School. Home of the Musketeers, it's a 9-2 Greenup County lead heading into the seventh inning of play. Greenup County had a good night offensively so far as they'll bring in number three, it looks like, on the mound now for the Musketeers. It's Luke Boggs, a freshman, coming in to pitch. Try to close things out for Greenup County. Boggs will be coming in to face the number eight, nine, and one hitters for Ashland, Zane Ingram, Gage Millette, and Sam Lyons. Here in the seventh. The 
from number nine, Sawyer Hatfield, also coming into the game. Sawyer Hatfield going to be playing second base now instead of Hunter Holbrook, nine for 21. That's what the home plate umpire told us here. So Sawyer Hatfield comes in to play second base. Luke Boggs is on the mound. Zane Ingram takes a cut at the first one, and it's strike one. Bog skips that one up to the plate. One ball and one strike. Ingram standing in and ready here. Greenup County working slowly right now. Boggs delivers the pitch. Fouled off down the third base side. One ball and two strikes to Ingram. Boggs throws that one short on the outside. Two balls and two strikes. That's strike three from Luke Boggs to Zane Ingram. Caught him looking for the first out of this top half of the seventh inning. Tomcats have had a quiet, quiet night offensively. Now Jonah Francis is going to take this spot in the order here for Gage Millette. Francis came in to pitch that last inning for the Tomcats. He'll bat this inning. Take that one up high for ball one. Francis fouls that one off. One ball, one strike. That was down low again. Two balls and one strike. So Ashland started off this game tonight. The first two hitters of the game reached base and scored. Sam Lyons and Brady Marushi. The first two hitters in the top half of the first inning. And the Tomcats have not scored since. That was chopped down the third base line, though. A good hit by Jonah Francis. Single into left field. Carter Ratcliffe will come over and field it, throw it into Sawyer Hatfield. So the Tomcats have a base runner here in the top half of the seventh. As they turn the order back over, get back to the top of the order, fourth crack at it for these guys, Sam Lyons. Coming to the plate, he's 0 for 3 so far tonight. Reached on an error, struck out, and popped out. Facing the freshman, Luke Boggs. That one's outside, ball one. Luke Boggs, before this, has an 8.08 earned run average in four and a third innings this year. Sam Lyons takes a cut at that one, swings and misses, strike one. One ball, one strike. Francis over on first. Boggs throws that one down low. Two balls and one strike. Lyons reaches down, gets the bat on it, off the front of the Greenup County dugout. Two balls and two strikes to Sam Lyons. Here in the top half of the seventh from Greenup County High School, the Musketeers lead it 9-2. to two. Looking to go three and six on the season before they head to Vero Beach, Florida next week. 
Tomcats look like they're primed to fall to 0 and 6 before they head to South Carolina. Sam Lyons takes strike three for the second out of the inning. And Luke Boggs is one batter away from ending this one for the Musketeers. It'll be tough, though, as Brady Marushi stands in for the Tomcats. Their leading hitter on the season. Came into this game hitting 353. He's 0 for 2 tonight, though. Marushi smacks it to Casey Gammon, who makes the play at shortstop, and that's your ball game. Greenup County Musketeers win this one 9 to 2. We'll be right back to recap things here on My Town TV. Ashley Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Diedrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Whether it happens without warning or you're able to plan ahead, when it comes to your heart, you want the very best care, advice you can trust, advanced technology, to understand, to be heard, to have a say. Professionals who have the knowledge and experience to get it right. Excellent care that's nationally recognized. You want the heart experts at King's Daughters. Because when it comes to your heart, we have exactly what it wants. Right now, one in six Kentucky sixth graders are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in six. It's never too early to get your child help and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollock Jewelers, and this uh, school season we want to wish all of our local teams the, the best. We want you to know that we're here for you in any of your gift-giving needs. And uh, good luck to everyone this fall and next spring. back here at Greenup County High School where the Greenup County Musketeers have defeated the Ashland Tomcats by a score of 9-2. Greenup County runs their record to 3-6 on the season before taking off next week to Vero Beach, Florida. Ashland falls to 0-6 before they'll head to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina next week. For the Tomcats tonight, it was a, a pretty light night hitting. 0-4 for, for Sam Lyons, 0-3 for, for Brady Marushi, 0-3 for, for Drew Kelly. So the top of the order was a combined 0-10. Uh, Parker Church was one for three. L.J. Murphy, one for three. Jonah Francis came in in the uh, seventh inning to get a hit, one for one for him, and everybody else was 0 for the night. Pierce Wamsley, 0 for three. Caden Church, 0 for two. Zane Ingram, 0 for two. And Gage Millette, 0 for two as well. So the Tomcats, you know, hoping to get their hitting going as the season progresses. L.J. Murphy actually had a pretty decent night on the mound, gave up uh, six runs, but, uh, you know, pretty composed out there and uh, pitched a good game. Matthew Boggs for Greenup County was one for four. Bradley Atkins coming back tonight, two for three. Big get back for the Musketeers tonight. As Bradley Atkins, you know, good at everything he does athletic-wise, uh, no matter no matter the sport. I like watching Bradley Atkins play. Cohen Underwood, two for three tonight as well. Started the game, only pitched two innings. Um, you know, gave up the two runs in the first inning. Not completely his fault. Uh, errors uh, helped that out. Uh, one for three for Colin Alexander. 0 for four for Hunter Holbrook and Ty Logan. 0 for two. Gavin Roy was one for three. Gage Gullett was two for four tonight. And Casey Gammon 0 for two at the plate for the Musketeers. So Greenup County got their bats going a little bit more tonight. They hope to do so more so next week at Vero Beach and come back a different team, hopefully, for the uh, second half of the season. Both these teams, uh, a lot of improving to do. Young teams on both sides. And uh, we look for good things from both these teams as the season progresses. So for Jeff Moore here, uh, thank you very much for – Running everything tonight, production, camera work, uh, everything under the sun. Yeah, the best the best in the business. There's no doubt about that. Uh, I'm Ryan Parker. Thank you all for joining us here tonight on My Town TV.